Hello everyone, my name is Steven. I am a first year dental student and today I'm talking about something that we all need as dentists and that is a nice pair of loops. I wanna make this video pretty short and quick, but I'm going to be talking about my loops today, why I chose them, and maybe some things that you should consider when you're buying your first pair of loops. First off, what are loops? So these are surgical loops. We use them as dentists, dental students, to get a way closer view of what we're working on. So anything that involves getting a better close-up image, these things really help us see. And when you're working on something as small as a tooth from a couple feet away, this extra magnification really helps us get in close and get the job done. Overall, the construction of a pair of loops is pretty simple. It's a pair of eyeglass frames with two magnifying lenses embedded into the glass of these eyeglasses. And then there is an external light that runs to a battery to give you some extra light when you're working. So loops haven't always been insanely prevalent in dentistry, but in the last probably 10 or so years, they've become absolutely commonplace. And having done some dentistry without them and now with them, I can tell you that they are basically essential for anyone who is trying to do a good job when they're working in the mouth. As a first year dental student at the University of Tennessee here in Memphis, I was blessed to have Oroscoptic, the company that makes these wonderful loops, come to my school and fit me for these loops and kind of help me decide which ones were the right ones for me. So right off the bat, I am not obviously sponsored by Oroscoptic or anything of the like, but I will go ahead and endorse them and tell you that my experience with this pair of loops has been absolutely fantastic. And if I were going to advise anyone on getting a pair of loops, I would tell them to go with Oroscoptic. The image quality is great and overall build quality is awesome. They even do some customization, which I will show you to kind of make you feel a little bit more special with your shiny pair of loops. So there's a couple important things to consider when you are looking at the, a pair of loops. And I think the first and kind of most important thing is the magnification that you decide on. Loops will come in many different magnifications, ranging from about two times all the way up to six, six and a half, somewhere in that range. And essentially what this magnification means is how close the image looks to you when you're looking through the loops. The higher the number, the closer you're gonna get to that working object and the lower the number the more you're going to have in your field of view so if i took a pair of two times loops and put them on i would probably be able to see the entire mouth both arches but i probably wouldn't be in super close to the tooth that i was working on on the flip side if i wore a pair of six and a halfs or sixes I would be super super far in i would see the tooth it would be basically my entire field of view and I could see really all the details of that tooth that I needed to. And here's where you need to ask yourself the question, what are you gonna be doing with these loops? If they're your first pair of loops and you're a dental student like me, you're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. So getting sort of a mid-range magnification is probably the best idea for you. But if you're a practicing dentist, I'm not really sure why you would be listening to me, but you're probably gonna be getting these loops for something specific. Maybe you like to do a lot of endo, and in that case, you would want a higher magnification. I would say endo is probably in dentistry the biggest reason to have like a six or five and a half, six somewhere in there because with endo, you really just wanna get as close as possible to the tooth so that you can see your access, you can see all the details and just try to figure out what exactly you're working with. But for example, if you're a hygienist and you're doing profies all day, you're probably gonna want something like a two or a two and a half because you wanna be able to see all the teeth and you don't really need to get that close into any individual tooth. In my fitment process here at school, they allowed me to put on all the different magnifications and all the different frames. I ended up going with a three and a half times magnification, which I thought just looked the best for me and was actually kind of what I was thinking I would get before I even went in for the fitment. Three and a half is perfect for me because I wanted something that was gonna get me basically as close as possible without being too outrageously close. The important thing to consider here is that you want to see some of the mouth when you're working in it. And the reason for that is when we're going in with instruments, a lot of times sharp instruments, like a hand piece, or even if it's a syringe, like you're giving an injection, you don't really wanna be super, super close because you can't see your hands. 
When you look with your regular eyes at the world, you have a pretty large field of view. You of course have your peripheral vision and you can see a whole lot. But when you wear loops, your image is a circle and you can only really see what's inside that circle. So the higher the magnification you go, the less information is gonna be inside that circle. It's gonna be much more magnified, but you're just not gonna be able to see as much. And it can be kind of unwieldy to try to move instruments into the mouth with such high magnification. So I went with three 3.5, I would recommend it to anybody. Maybe if you're shorter, like physically stature, you're shorter, you might wanna go with something a little bit less because it also has to do with the working distance. But I would say anything three, three and a half is probably the best bet for most people. So yeah, deciding what magnification you want or need is pretty much just gonna come down to you. And the best way to decide is of course, to try on the different options and however you're able to do this, you know, it just depends situation to situation. But being able to actually hold up like a type of dot or look into someone's mouth with a pair of loops on and see how much you're seeing, that's probably the best way to do that. The next thing that I wanna talk about is the frame that your loops come in. And this of course is just gonna vary widely. You know, every pair of loops is, is gonna be in a different frame. For me, the frame wasn't super important. I did want something that looked a little bit modern and a little bit 21st century. So that's why I went with the Tempo here from Oroscoptic. They sort of have this wide frame uh, with the, the kind of half wire look. I don't really know a whole lot about eyeglasses, so I don't really sound very intelligent talking about them, but I just liked the way these looked. And that's kind of all that I really considered. There was also the argument that these particular frames have a little bit more space above the magnification so that if you do take your eyes and lift them up over those lenses, you may be able to see a little bit more. In other words, some of the other options were a bit more squished like this. So you couldn't really see as much over the magnification. And the last thing you have to consider is your light options. I believe with Oroscoptic, everything is pretty much standard. It has this same light unless you get the cordless version. I opted to get a corded version, which kind of goes back around me and clips onto my scrubs. I don't really know why I got the corded version. I think that just from everyone I talked to, it seemed like it was the best option. If you get a wireless version, everything is built in on top of the loops and they can get a little bit front heavy, whereas this option is going to be a lot more gentle on your face. You're not gonna feel pulled forward and you also have a battery which is pretty sizable and can hold quite a bit of charge. So this here is the battery from Oroscoptic and it is the XL, which means it's the larger version. And I went with this because sometimes I forget to charge things. And this one has like 24 hours of battery life, which is pretty insane. So that's just what I went with. I think if you're a practicing dentist and you have your own space to sort of work out of every day in your office, you could probably get away with a smaller battery, but for a dental student where there's kind of never, you never really feel planted and you're kind of always taking them back and forth, it may be a little bit better to have a larger battery. I lastly just wanted to point out this amazing case that Oroscoptic does for the loops. This is the individual case for the loops themselves. And then there is a larger case, sort of a briefcase style with the same overall style, but it's pretty sweet. They give you this sort of engraving and you get to see your name done up like that. I hope that it's focusing, gosh, I hope. And that's really all I want to talk about. One of my goals for this channel is to sort of discuss all the aspects of dental school that I'm going through and that students like me are going through. And this is one of those things that I think every dental student and every dentist nowadays has to have. It's pretty much a non-negotiable. And they are expensive. These were over $2,000. So that's obviously something to consider. There are more affordable options, but really if you make an investment like this that you will use for many, many years in the future, you want something that fits you well and that functions very, very well for you. So I am pumped to move into my future as a practicing dentist with these oroscoptic loops. And I'm open to helping any of you out that have questions. I know a lot of people that watch my videos are pre-dental students and that some of them are going into dental school this year. And if you have questions about which loops you should pick or you know just anything else about this topic, let me know in the comments. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're new here to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I have a whole lot of fun things coming out in the near future, just kind of showing my life around dentistry and, and what's going on. So make sure you stay tuned. As always, that's gonna be it for me and I will see you next time in the near future.
Thanks, guys. Ooh, take care of these bad boys.